Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in their mouths and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, you king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence here, line you may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is 1 Samuel 15, 2 through 34. Thus says Yahweh of hosts, I have noted that Amalek did not... What Amalek did to Israel in opposing them on the way when they came up out of Egypt. Now go and strike a Imelech, and devote to destruction all that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and women, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. So Saul summoned the people and numbered them in Talim. Two hundred thousand men on foot, and ten thousand men of Judah. And Saul came to the city of Imelech, and lay in wait in the valley. Then Saul said to the he knights, go, depart, go down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you showed kindness to all the people of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites, and Saul defeated the Amalekites from Hivalah as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive, and devoted to destruction all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep, and of the oxen, and of the fattened calves, and the lambs, and all that was good. It would not utter, utterly destroy them. All that was despised and worthless, they devoted to destruction. The word of Yahweh came to Samuel. I regret that I have made Saul king, for he has turned back from following me, and has not performed my commandments. And Samuel was angry. And he cried to Yahweh all night, and Samuel rose up early in the morning, early to meet Saul in the morning. And it was told Samuel, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set up a monument for himself, and turned, and passed on, and went down to Gilgal. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said to him, Blessed be you to Yahweh. I performed the commandment of Yahweh. And Samuel said, What then is this bleeding of sheep in my ears, and the lowing of oxen that I hear? Saul said, They have brought them from the Amalekites. For the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice to Yahweh your, <coughs> your Elohim. And the rest we have devoted to destruction. Then Samuel said to Saul, Stop, I will tell you what Yahweh said to me this night. And he said to him, Speak. <coughs> and Samuel said, Though you are little in your own eyes, and you not... Are you not the head of the tribes of Israel? Yahweh anointed you king over Israel. And Yahweh sent you on a mission and said, Go devote to destruction the sinners, the Amalekites, and fight against them until they have been consumed. Why then did you not obey the voice of Yahweh? Why did you pounce on the spoil and do what was evil in the sight of Yahweh? And Saul said to Samuel, I have obeyed the voice of Yahweh. I have gone on the mission of, on which Yahweh sent me. I have brought back Agag the king, king of Amalek, and I have devoted the Amalekites to destruction. But the people took of the spoil, sheep and oxen, and the best things devoted the best of the things devoted to destruction, the fact, to sacrifice to Yahweh your Elohim in Gilgal. And Samuel said, Has Yahweh as Yahweh has great delights in burnt offering and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahweh. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to listen than the fat of rams. For rebellion is the sin of divination, and presumption is as iniquity as idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of Yahweh, he has also rejected you from being king. Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of Yahweh. And your words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now therefore, please pardon my sin and return with me that I may bow before Yahweh. And Samuel said to Saul, I will not return with you. 
For you have rejected the word of Yahweh, and Yahweh has rejected you from being king over Israel. As Samuel turned to go away, Saul seized the skirt of his robe and it tore. And Samuel said to him, Yahweh has torn the kingdom of Israel from you this day, and has given it to a neighbor of yours, <laughs> who is better than you. And also the glory of Israel will not lie or have regret, for he is not a man that sh he should have regret. Then he said, I have sinned. Yet honor me now before the elders of my people and before Israel, and return with me that I may bow before Yahweh your Elohim. So Samuel turned back after Saul, and Saul bowed before Yahweh. Then Samuel said, Bring here to me Agag the king of the Amalekites. And Agag came to him cheerfully. Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. And Samuel said, As your sword has made women childless, so shall your mother be childless among women. And Samuel hacked Agag to pieces before Yahweh and Gilgal. Then Samuel went to Rumah, and Saul set up his house in Gibeah of Saul. Blessed art thou, Donai Elinu, king of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Donai Elinu, Malach Galo, Mashna Talanu, Tredi Met Vaishi Elum, Atab Betakinu, Brukata Donai Nitinatra.